All right, we do have uh, some breaking news coming in from the world of uh, sport that uh, Rafael Nadal has tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, the Spain's Rafael Nadal uh, has now released a statement that uh, he is COVID positive. He tested after the Abu Dhabi event earlier this week and he put out a statement uh, in Spanish saying that uh, that translates into that I wanted to announce that on my return home after playing the Abu Dhabi tournament I've tested positive for COVID in the PCR test that was performed on me when I arrived in Spain. So this is a 20-time Grand Slam champion and uh, uh, he is now tested positive. Okay, so this, of course, uh, comes at a time where we're seeing the spread of the coronavirus globally. Uh, many countries reporting an upsurge in COVID cases. We are now seeing increasing number of um, Omicron uh, variants. Rafael Nadal had anyway announced that he was not sure of taking part in the Australian Open. He's 35 years old. He had spent the last four months on the sidelines in a with a foot injury and uh, he had said recently that he cannot guarantee that he would be able to make the trip to Melbourne for next month's Australian Open. Uh, this was when he uh, returned to action at the World Tennis Championship in Abu Dhabi and on returning from that he has now tested positive. All right, let's go across uh, to Osama. So, Osama, the timing really hard over here in terms of him being a professional tennis player, of course, because he had just returned to playing after that injury to his foot in Abu Dhabi, and now he's tested positive. That's absolutely right, uh, Sarah. Uh, Nadal, uh, who has actually played his first match after almost four months in Abu Dhabi last week, uh, he announced that he has tested positive. And... Uh, this is not good news for uh, not just for uh, tennis, uh, but but Nadal itself because uh, he has tested po positive for COVID-19 uh, upon arrival in Spain after making his comeback from uh, his injury in, in in what was an exhibition event uh, that he took part in Abu Dhabi last week, and uh, he in fact he said that uh, uh, he was having some unpleasant moments, uh, but I hope that uh, I will improve little by little and. Uh, uh, he also mentioned that he he was now homebound and have reported the result to those who have been in contact uh, with me. So this is this is a statement that he had uh, issued uh, uh, right after he landed in Spain, uh, uh, Sarah. All right. Uh, you know, this announcement, of course, uh, Osama comes in as Europe is trying to rein in the number of cases that are on the rise, not just of uh, COVID, but also of the new variant, the Omicron variant uh, that has, uh, you know, had repercussions. We've seen the markets reacting, international markets also reacting to that today. But perhaps in a sense, you know, really... Uh, can't, this can't be unexpected when you're talking about an international level player whose job really is to fly between countries uh, from one tournament to the other. Yes, absolutely. It, it is a cash 22 situation, especially for athletes who have been traveling uh, around the world. And this is not just uh, in, uh, in this one particular sport uh, of tennis, but also uh, in other different sports as well. And uh, like you mentioned, uh, Europe especially has been... Uh, uh, dealing with uh, the new variant uh, for some time now, and there have been uh, uh, multiple efforts and lockdowns in place to uh, contain it. Uh, but uh, for somebody who has to travel across uh, across the world, in fact, to play uh, professionally, he or she would be uh, uh, exposed to something like this. And this has happened uh, to uh, uh, somebody, Nadal. And uh, I, we all, we can all hope that. Uh, uh, this is contained as quickly as possible because Nadal had, in fact, he had mentioned that he would be t uh, taking some time out. Uh, and he had obviously cast, uh, he cast his doubt over playing in the Australian Open also uh, uh, initially. And uh, uh, this, is just, this is just unfortunate uh, that uh, something like this has come up at this point of time because uh, he was, in fact, making his comeback and uh, he wanted to go out and perform uh, and play, and uh, now it just comes as uh, uh, comes as uh, a bad news for him.